everybody welcome back to cards by the hill my name is jane hill now today we're going to make some embossing card without any dies so if you've wanted to make some embossing card or, or backing paper or anything like that and you haven't got the folders to do it this is a simple alternative. So just a piece of cardboard, corrugated card from um, packaging. Cut yourself a shape. Just put a heart on here. And you've got to make sure that this is quite thick to start with. So, I'm going to cut another one. Using this one as a template. Doesn't have to be perfect. These have got to be stuck together to make it thicker. So this is when you need to trim up any overhanging edges. Like that. And we're going to glue those together. Probably be quicker to hot glue them, but I haven't got the gun on. So let those glue together. Then get yourself a piece of card. Okay, so once you've got your hearts glued together, so a thick piece of card over the top where you're aiming to start, and you want something like a ball or a the end of a pen, paint brush ends, anything like that. Rub across it and round it. And then you've got yourself an embossed image. Okay, so Just carry on around the card. You can use all different shapes, circles, crosses, uh, snowflakes for Christmas, anything you like. There we go, like that. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so I'm just going to go over this sheet and add some more and then we're going to fix that to a six by six and use that as a backing piece okay so let's get that cut five by five for the, for the card or you can do six and a half by six and a half it's up to you or you can do five and a half by five and a half so that's going to go on there like that. You can see the hearts. So let me cover the rest of the card in these. Now 
as I say, you can use all sorts of shapes. Just cut them out of cardboard. If you want them to be deeper, then use three cutouts of the shape and layer them together. And then you're going to have an even more embossed pan. Okay, and there you can see on the back. So let's get this done. So as I say, you know, if you haven't got embossing folders or you haven't got many, Or you want to use a particular shape that would work with this brilliantly that's a good idea for this sort of thing if you haven't got a lot of embossing folders Lost piece of back in now. Okay, so this is smirk. Say it with smirk by K and Company, and it's called Naughty but Nice with foil and glitter, as you can see. A lot of the images are glittered, so I'm going to use this pad. This was part of somebody's craft stash. I've had it a long time now, not really done much with it, but today I'm going to use it on this card. So you've got lots of cut out pieces in it, glittered pages, borders. These are pretty. More foiled ones. There's a used part there with some sentiments on. We've got some um, words at the back here on the back page. And these are actually embossed, as you can see. Same kind of thing as our card. So let's have a look what we're going to do. Okay, I think we're going to use that. Possibly a border. Right, let's layer up a six by six first and then we'll add the embossed page to it. Okay. 
that's our backing paper. So let's get that on first. Embossed card. And I've just added a piece of white card on the back of it to make it a little bit stronger. So that's going in the middle there. Can't really see any of the glitter now. But never mind. Then we're going to add one of these little images because I want to make it for a little girl. So what have we got? Sweetheart. We'll add that. that's going in the middle you can still see the embossing that's going in the middle there I'm gonna use a piece of this glittered butterfly Paper. Then we're going to make a badge. Bought these from Amazon. I think you get 50 in a bag. 30, sorry, in a bag. And you can just make your own badges and cards. So we're going to use one of these. It's for a little girl. So you take the back off, you add your paper. on I want to add an age to it okay so I've got sheet here with glittered numbers on so we're gonna add eight to it in snaps together and we're going to add that to our card in the corner there and then from this book I've got some and things so 
So we've got a happy birthday there in a transparent sticker. I'm going to put that down now. Uh, what else have we got? Got butterflies and flowers on this one. We'll add a butterfly or two, keeping with the colour of the card. So we've got orange on the lip girl, so we use an orange. Got to put our badge on. And we've just got to put something inside. Okay, so for the badge, I'm going to use a thick double sided pad. Just to stick it to. Like that. And then I think we'll just put a message on the inside and we're done. So my stickers from HMK Cards. And we're just going to put pick just for you. Put that inside there. That's it. There we go. So that's an embossed backing piece with no die and no folder and the addition of a badge for an eight-year-old so as I'm doing all my videos I want to thank you for subscribing thank you for your likes if you haven't subscribed please do so it means so much to me gives me the incentive to keep going when you're making a video a day you really need some support um, and I'm enjoying your comments keep them coming and I'll see you on the next one bye